Day 8 San Francisco and um, today we're going to check out Golden Gate Bridge and Farmers, well not Farmers, Fisherman's Wharf. But first, it's a laundry day so we're just going to find a, a laundry mat. So actually there's one just around the corner so we'll see if we find it and see if it's open. While we waited for our laundry to be done, we uh, decided to shoot down the street and grab a coffee and um, just have a little explore. Um, San Francisco was a little bit different. They had um, every commercial residence had these little push buttons for disabled people, which is quite interesting. It's apparently it's, um, it's a local bylaw. We even had one in our, um, in our hotel in the reception, which, we, which was a bit, which we thought was a bit bizarre. See, okay, we bit of a relaxing morning, did some laundry, uh, had a coffee, and it's probably about 10 o'clock, so I'm just gonna have a, a walk over to um, the park and um, hopefully we can see the Golden Gate Bridge. Being a child of the 80s, I don't think Jinko appreciated these two policemen on motorbikes. I can't even remember what these guys did. I think they pulled over people and gave them traffic tickets. Barely 10 minutes from a hotel, we came across this place, which was a surprise. It's not even in the top 10 places to visit in TripAdvisor. Yep. It's the Palace of Fine Arts, a Greco-Roman ruin um, originally built in 1915. This place was amazing. Uh, I just discovered the Palace of Fine Arts here on the outskirts. Beautiful. And just after this noisy garden machine operator, we saw our first sight of the Golden Gate Bridge. Finish our walk to the Golden Gate, Br Golden Gate Bridge. Nice walk along the promenade here, and um, it's quite a long walk, probably about 3k, I would say. I took some took some nice photos, nice views, and uh, we're just walking back to the hotel now. Um, I'll just show you what the city looks like. It's quite far. And they also the, the, that, the that's um. It's a bit hard to see, it's Alcatraz over here, Alcatraz Island, maybe I'll zoom in, it's in that. oh, I can actually zoom in, oh, too much, it's a bit better, zoom, and he's not scared, a bit hard to see, oh, beautiful bird, don't scare him, I took a photo, stay still, oh, he's so pretty, let me fly away. Okay, it's afternoon and we just found a, a car park. So we're just down at Fisherman's Wharf. Just going to have a look around the area and see what there is to see.
discovery. Um, found a bar called Buono Vista, which is Spanish for good view, and um, they were making uh, Irish coffees. Never had an Irish coffee before, so we ordered one. Um, quite nice. Um, actually, tasted a lot like Bailey's. Do you like it? I don't like whiskey, but it is nice. It's um, it's got espresso coffee, sugar syrup, and some cream on top, and the Irish whiskey. Jameson's. Not bad. It's okay. Oh yeah, and um, on a side note, it's like an Irish bar and there's Irish people in there and um, the Irish coffee was made by a Chinese guy. Yeah, it's all Chinese and uh, it costs 13 dollars each. 13 US dollars. Yeah. Expensive. Here it comes. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. What's that? What's the airport being? I think they're not in China. Airport being. I don't So this is the official food review from Jinko on the clam chowder. Actually this place is called Boudin, so it's been here a long time. Mm. It's good. So what's in it? I think just a seafood fish base with potatoes. Oh really? And I, I bought a roast beef sandwich. This looks like the entrance to the main pier. Let's go in. Oh, every coffee gets a free biscoff. Like here we're cooking the whole world. Me too. The world looks quiet. <laughs> yeah. It's a merry-go-round. So this was our second day or night in San Francisco and it ended um, here at the merry-go-round. Um, it was a fun day. We enjoyed it.